love mixing and matching yarns, different colors and styles, but when you also make a project that uses a really cool textured stitch like seed stitch, the result is a really rich, beautiful accessory like this cowl. Well, I'm going to show you how in arm knitting to create the seed stitch. Super easy, and this is how. Seed stitch is created by alternating knits and purls and purls and knits every other row. And you can see it gives us really cool kind of sprinkling of seed-like look, even when you're working in arm knitting, which tends to be bulkier and more open weave. I feel like using as many strands of yarn as possible is the best for any time you want a texture stitch to show up in arm knitting, because the bigger the holes, the less likely you're really going to see all the fiber fill in and really take advantage of the texture. So I'm working on this piece here. And what we want to do is, as, I, as you're working, you'll see that the stitch from the last row has been worked in a certain manner. So this, this last stitch is a purl. I can see that because of the bump. So in C stitch, I want to do the opposite the next row. So now I want to do a knit which is just pushing that yarn through the back. So next, I see that this is a knit stitch because there isn't any bump at all. So I'm going to purl by pushing the working yarn through. And then the next one's gonna be a knit stitch. Push the working yarn through the back, and a purl stitch. Push the working yarn through the front of the loop, and so on. And so the only thing to remember as you're working a piece in seed stitch is that when you move on to the Next row, all you have to do is remember that you're going to work each stitch in the opposite manner than it was worked the row before. So again, here's a purl stitch, so I know I need to knit. Here's a knit stitch, because there's no bump, I know I need to purl. This is a purl stitch, so I need to knit, and so on, and so on. And it creates such a cool textured fiber or effect rather, and it, that's made especially beautiful when you combine a bunch of different textures and shades of color of yarn like I have here. And now you know how to seed stitch using the arm knit method. Please join us back at yarnspirations.com often where we're always uploading great new projects like the one I'm wearing now for you to make and be inspired by.